Now that the cut is finished, I'll blow dry the hair into place. I start my blow dry on pompadours by blowing it forward until it's 90% dry. This will help create a little resistance when I blow dry it back. The resistance will help create volume when it is styled. Once I'm done blow drying it forward, I will add a funnel to concentrate the hair coming out of the blow dryer. I've heard stylists and barbers that are better than me say that the heat doesn't matter. But I know from trying to use a blow dryer with no heat on flat tops that the heat does indeed keep the hair set. So I have the blow dryer at full throttle like Charlie's Angels on heat and power. I start in the back with a small round brush. I like the cheap grocery store round brushes. I get the hair in the brush and rotate the brush up and back as I blow it dry. I make sure that I get down as close to the scalp as possible while blowing away from the head. Hot blow dryers from this distance can burn someone really bad if you blow toward the scalp. Taking small sections, I work my way up to the front of the head. I blow the side without the part back and the side with the part down. Above the part, I will blow up and slightly back. Once the hair is dried and styled in place, I'll go through and correct any mistakes I could not see while the hair was damp and not styled. Since I cut most of my cuts to mimic the same general shape as my flat tops, my pompadours will be no different. They will be shortest around the back of the top and gradually get longer towards the front. The haircut has no disconnection, but even if it did, the shape lines from the back to the front would be like connecting two dots. Meaning these points would have a flat angled line between them, with the longest point being in the front. I'll be using my favorite pomade to set this style. This is 68 Chicago Heavy Hold Pomade. It's a nice creamy pomade that is not overly shiny. The most unique thing about it is that it has no scent. I find that out of all hair products, pomades hold their scent in the hair for a long time. Even if I like the scent, for some reason it ends up being a nuisance by the end of the day. Plus sometimes I don't want it to mess with my manly musk, or if I'm wearing a cologne. I start out by rubbing a small dab on my fingertip. I rub the pomade into the palms and between my fingers. Then I work the pomade into the hair and shape the style. Once the rest of the hair has some pomade on it, I style the front by pulling it up and back between my pomade coated fingers. After getting a sufficient amount of pomade into the style, I push the hair into the shape that I want it in. Any places that I cannot shape with my fingers, I'll use a wide tooth pick to help push and pull it into its final style. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I have a lot of other videos on here, a great variety of things, some old basketball stuff, some music videos. You never know what you're going to find, but I do have a playlist of tutorials. This has been Slim the Barber and I'm Audi 5000. Peace!